might as well just go a different strategy. Well, um, Suffo choosing Desert Oasis here for Game 4, it's absolutely brilliant, and I don't see Dom Bay being able to pull off a rush here. I personally don't rush on this map because it is just the biggest distance. I was actually just drawing in my uh, in the air in front of my screen. Too bad I have a webcam like the rush distance. Woof. <laughs> air air uh, style strategy though definitely popular absolutely in fact uh, I tend to open up with banshees on this map and yeah Selva just so good at the late game macro that as long as he doesn't die or he tends to win so <laughs> wonder what Dom Bay is going to try to do this time. Uh, certainly, he cannot do the mech style on this map. There's just way too much open ground. I found that funny. I chose. I asked him to pick a map with grass on it, and he chose this. <laughs> funny. Hey, there technically is some grass in the middle right here. But, uh, yeah, obviously, Suffo choosing this map simply for what we saw last time and trying to prevent that early harassment style strategy, working to the power of Suffo and to the disadvantage of Dom Bay. I mean, again, it's a very smart map choice. I really like it, and uh, shows that he knows what's up. So Supply Depot finishing right there, and now it comes some more SCVs, so nothing out of the ordinary just yet. No one's showing any signs of cheese at this point. Again, a 14 extractor. Expect that to go up right here for Suffo, as he's not doing it just yet. He has 15. Looks like he's probably doing the uh, expand first strategy yet again. Yeah. Uh, 15 hatch is my assumption. And looks there like he go. is, in fact, moving up. This map is so big that the Zerg can, in fact, do this relatively safely. It's still quite scary. The opponent puts on significant pressure on you. But um, doable. Well, he did. He actually did. Now that I'm thinking about it, he did perform this against Two Fresh in their uh, in their best out of three. And that game three, of course, where Two Fresh went the nuke style strategy. Uh, Suffo did actually get open with the early hatchery, so he is confident on expanding early on in this map, like you suggested. Gets a spawning pool up and going, and now the extractor. So Suffo uh, confident that his expansion will be safe as far as Dom Bay is concerned. He is going his very ordinary early strategy has a refinery already up, getting an orbital command. And it now has a barracks with the second supply depot coming out. Now the question is, how will he follow it up? If it's like uh, we saw the victory last game, you know, going to be going into Helions. But again, on this map, not nearly as easy. So really interested right now to see what the next move will be by Dom Bay right here. You see a droid uh, coming in, a drone, excuse me, coming in to scout out. Will be stopped, though, by the barrier that is of Dom Bay's base. And force the drone to fall back. Mm, he is building a factory and refinery. We did see in the uh, second game, Dom Bay we decided to go heavy, heavy mech. It would be a major mistake to go heavy, heavy mech on this map. So Dom Bay may either be doing that or he'll just do the more standard star... Oh my gosh, is that... No, it's a barracks. Was... A little scared that that was going to be a second factory there. <laughs> so it looks like Dom Bay going for aggression. Probably a Marauder Hellion push given the two barracks. Well, we'll see as the tech lab just finishing on the barracks right there. As the drone scout for Suffo now coming back to the base. Upgrading to a lair, by the way, is Suffo at his main base. Yep, there comes the starport. Uh, looks like he's building a reactor on the factory. Given the close proximity of these buildings, it's very difficult to tell if he plans on swapping buildings or if he plans to just double Hellion. Uh, it could be Vikings, could be Medivacs, could be Hellions. Nice thing about Terran is it's great flexibility with these add-ons. Well, it's just about finished, so we'll start uh, seeing Dom Bay, of course, pump out units as soon as possible. Going to be most efficient. No, he's going to lift the starport, so he's going to get the medevac. So, yeah, he's going to switch it over to the reactor, put that down, and uh, going to start pumping out medevacs would be my guess. Or Vikings. Or Vikings, that's true. Very true. Expecting the air from the uh, first one's a medevac, though. But uh, expecting the air definitely would be a bad strategy by any means. I mean, obviously, upgrading to Lair, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what Suffo does go into, and he's definitely been a fan of those Metalists, but getting out his evolution chamber. And there goes the Spire, so there goes the air. So no Vikings, though, for Mr. Dombey. Will not be as effective, or won't be, unfortunately, effective against the Metalists. Of course, not having them. But we'll probably see him eventually make them. 
Yep, and also Cephal getting that early evolution chamber. Uh, as this is Dead Oasis, Banshees are quite common, so um, he might expect Banshees, which is the reason why he built an evolution chamber. Dombe has not really scouted too much. In fact, I don't know if, how much information... Yeah, he has zero information. <laughs> wow. He has zero information on the base. He has not used any scans. He has not got the SCVA in there, obviously. Is this uh, definitely a fault of uh, Dombe, you think? Could it's it not a up... fault. He's going all in with a... He's going all in, basically. Yeah. He's uh, going all in with a drop. He's going to load everything up into uh, Medivax. He's going to pray that he wins. And, you know, that's... <laughs> Legitimate. It's a strategy. To be honest, the uh, Zerg hasn't seen what Dombe is doing. Wait, he has. So, <laughs> well, I suspect that Dombe may be screwed. <laughs> nice way to finish that, but uh, he does move the racks. Actually, one of the racks over to the reactor right here. So he's starting to spam out Marines out of that. But uh, yeah, as he, as you suggest, and perhaps going for an Olin style strategy. As three Medivacs currently out, could definitely fold them out. Fill them up, excuse me. As far as, uh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, um, all in. Absolutely. One base, three racks, factory, starport, uh, reactor, getting supply blocked. <clears throat> That's fun. You know all about that. <laughs> Absolutely. Looks like here comes the all in drop. Mutal is going to come in the same time, though, and he's going to start harassing the hell out of those SCVs. So, yeah, basically all in here for Dombe. He's sending these three dropships in, uh, two of them nearly full, one just only one Marine in there. But, uh, <coughs> excuse me there. He's going to drop, the, drop them onto the base, and here we go. One Queen is the only unit there to defend currently. He has a, an army of speedlings. The Mutal is actually running back right now. And they're probably going to try to pick up these medevacs. You see him using the stim pack right there, but they're starting to drop really, really fast. Great use of those speedlings right there. Dropping a good amount, but now he's focusing that spawning pool. That'll be a huge kill for him. If he can take it out, out come the drones, though, from Suffolk. He's trying to send them away right here. But again, the pressure is on, for, on, on by Dom Bay, so a very good drop right there. Very effective. Picking off those Zerglings as they spawn, trying to run by. Oh, man, he's just picking them off like it's freaking roadkill right there. He takes out the spawning pool. Again, that's going to set Suffo behind a little bit as he needs to get that up as soon as possible. But uh, now he's also going to take out the Spire. So, again, another thing setting him behind. So it looks like the strategy could uh, could be working here for Dom Bay. Yeah, pretty much just... Uh... Bravely went in with the uh, medevac and just trust in his drop. Uh, now we got a counterattack though from Suffo. He's mutilus in. Dombe still has. Oh, he's got a bunch of marines at home. How does he have? Uh, well, he's trying to build a couple of turrets, but unfortunately, Suffo and those mutilus are not letting that happen. Of course, but here come those marines. You're talking about they're stimmed up. They pick off a couple of mutilus, trying to finish that last one down to two life. One more shot probably would have done and not able to do so. However, another drop incoming onto the expansion right here from Dom Bay. Probably not the smartest place to drop him, though. Oh, man, he's <laughs> running in. Yeah, not many choices. Oh, he wow. might be taken out by the Queen. Oh, he forces, actually, a couple of those Banelings to explode as he dropped just one Marine, I believe. Oh, and he needs to get those out, though. He only gets one Marine out as the Mutalist takes him out. One Mutalist drops, but this Marine, of course, is going to be dying. And uh, there goes the army of Dombe. However, it is not over by any means. Here comes another couple of medivacs. He's going to drop them into what used to be the main base of Suffo. And he's going to eventually finish off the evolution chamber right here. And then make his way to the expansion. So again, Dombe, he's keeping up the pressure with this strategy. And doing a damn good job of it. We have uh, Suffo back at the main base. He is getting banelings, banelings, banelings. He's uh, looking forward to having this work for him. He's also spawning a crap ton of speedlings. Will he be able to defend it is the question. Here goes the Marines coming in right here. Two Medivacs to support them. Here go the Speedlings and a great army for...